how to use iPhoto special effects. iPhoto is a great tool for editing, managing and publishing images. It has very good tools for editing images and cropping them. iPhoto, however, is a lightweight when it comes to special effects, with only a handful of image effects, compared to hundreds of effects offered by GIMP and Photoshop. Like everything with iPhoto, however, the effects tools are very easy to use and combine. I use iPhoto for image management and image editing until I run into a limitation. The same is true with special effects, if I can do it in iPhoto, I will, because it's easy to use. Read on to find out how to make simple special effects with iPhoto. Step 1. Open the photo you want to work on in iPhoto. Simply select the image from the album or event window. When you are done, select editing mode from the bottom toolbar to get to the special effects button. Step 2. Notice there are only 9 different special effect choices. I like this image, but wanted to see what it would be like with a vignette. After selecting the effect you may be able to change the amount of the effect by using this special tool for that effect. Step 3. In the case of the vignette effect, you can control the amount of vignette by adjusting the number up or down. For this image I thought a vignette of 5 worked fine. You will see the changes in your image as you adjust the number. Step 4. You can also combine effects. By using the antique effect combined with the vignette effect I have turned a modern color image into an old time image that looks like it was shot in the early 1900s. Step 5. You can combine more than two effects. This final image was created using the vignette effect, antique effect and matte effect. Personally, I think it is too much, but want you to understand that although there are just 9 effects you have a lot of control by combining various effects and adjusting the intensity to achieve the result you want.